Hi folks, another one of my uh, favourite demos and it also makes a really good toy. Um, this is something known as Hero's Fountain. Um, it was originally uh, conceived by a guy named Hero of Alexandria in around about 50 AD. Um, and it is a rather simple device. Um, it consists of uh, two bottles you can see here. One is uh, full almost to the brim with water, the other one is uh, quite empty. And on the top we've got uh, a fish tank or half a cup or something that can collect some water and a little spout sticking up the top with a tap on it just so we can turn it on and off. The tap's not really essential. And so if you have a close look, there's uh, two pipes connecting to the top of, of this first bottle. One goes to beneath the liquid, comes all the way out the top and it connects to a hose that then runs to the drain on this little bowl on the top. And then we have a second hose which connects to a short pipe that sits in the gas at the top of this bottle and that connects, it passes up through the bowl and over the top and goes into this second bottle and sits just above the gas here. And finally we have another piece of pipe that runs from underneath the liquid in this top bottle up through the lid and it connects to the spout that comes out the top. Okay? And so you take the emptier of the two bottles and it goes down here on the floor and then if you take some water and you uh, fill up the bowl a little bit like so and then turn on the tap it takes a, a few seconds to get running um, which is usually just the time that you need to purge the air out of the lines Here we go. And lo and behold, you get a, uh, a fountain coming out of the uh, spout at the top. So if we have a closer look, you can see that this fountain um, actually goes fairly high. You can see it running all the way up there. and sort of finishing up there at the moment something on the order of about half a meter to a meter above the point where it exits the tube and the water falls back down into this bowl where it will then feed back into the system and go back down to the reservoir that's sitting on the floor The classic question with this little fountain is where the uh, energy is coming from for it because when you watch it going you can see that the water is actually going a fair way up in the air. There's clearly no pump in the system and so um, you know the interesting question is where, where is the energy coming from. turns out that it's actually coming from gravitational potential energy and it's a, a, to a certain extent it's a little bit of a sleight of hand because you start looking at part of the system thinking what's going on there and uh, the magic's actually happening somewhere else. So the way this thing works is that uh, the water that goes into the bowl here has uh, very little to do with it. Um, the water flows down this tube that goes down to this part in the bottom and it kickstarts the cycle to some extent and it sort of helps to keep it going but the real action is actually happening elsewhere. Anyway, let's, let's go through it bit by bit. You put water into this part at the top and it flows down this hose and it ends up in this vessel down which I've got down near my foot on the floor and so you'll remember that that vessel was actually had a little bit of water in the bottom of it, it was mostly air and when the water that runs from up here goes down into that into that vessel on the floor it raises the water level which compresses the gas above it the gas that's above it actually comes back up the other hose which is this one here you can see there's an odd bubble going through it occasionally but mostly it's all air coming up and so air is being displaced out of this one at the um, at this vessel on the floor by the water running down from the top and it, the air tries to move into this region here and when it goes into here it, it adds pressure to here which then forces that liquid up this tube in the middle and it comes out of the fountain okay and so then the air the water coming out of this fountain drops back into here 
and the process goes over and over again. So to some extent you kind of think, well, you know, there's a closed loop here and you've in effect got something that's similar to a perpetual motion machine. But what's really going on in the background is that you've got water that's transferring from this vessel up the top here and it's transferring down to this vessel at the bottom, okay? And I'll prove that in a minute. I'll put some dye in the water in this tank here and you'll see that what happens is first it finds its way into here and then it finds its way down into the bottom, okay? And eventually this thing will stop because um, when this water runs out in here, there's no longer any water to come out of this vessel, okay, because any air that gets pressurized and put into this part can flow straight up and out the top here, and then there's no longer any water flowing down here, and even if there was, there's no way to pressurize it because the gas can escape and the whole system stops. So what's really driving this is the height difference between this vessel at the bottom and this one down on the floor. And so, to prove that, if I take this vessel down the bottom here and I raise it back up again, you'll notice that the fountain goes down and it even stops. And if I put it back down on the floor again, the vessel speeds up, okay? Okay, so let's stop this thing for a moment and uh, I'll add some dye to this water at the top and we'll see that uh, basically this thing goes round in a cycle from here to there.